we have finally reached to the point where we as an audience are going to witness successes in both a cultural and business standpoint in mainstream superhero film media with a slow increase of female-led superhero movies. With Women's History Month arriving a couple days ago, plus Food and Wine Festival at Disneyland, let's not forget that, another female-led superhero movie is arriving in theaters to prove to us that, yes indeed, you don't need testosterone to sell tickets. And that is my highly anticipated Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. I'm a huge fan of the Nancy Drew series, whereas you have a similar book series called the Hardy Boys, you need two of those dudes to solve a case. Nancy Drew just needs herself. She's a superhero in her own right. Oh, and you have a movie called Captain Marvel coming out this weekend, which I'm pretty sure is going to be as great, if not better. All jokes aside, I'm actually looking forward to Captain Marvel just to see how her story is going to tie in with Avengers Endgame, just kind of like how an appetizer is for a big meal. And Marvel has indeed come a long way, no doubt about it. They have become so successful that other studios try to copy what they're doing. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the movies that rip off Marvel character properties in both pre and post MCU. It's quite some interesting stuff here. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So the first movie we have is Metal Man from 2008, and it says Kyle Finn has the ultimate combat machine, a metal suit with superhuman powers, and uses it to defend the good and fight evil. That evil comes in the form of Reed, his ninja henchman. I'm not gonna <laughs> bother to read the full summary because ninja henchman, that's really all you need to know. Uh, you know what, let's watch the uh, trailer on this Metal Man. Oh my God, it's clearly like a Iron Man ripoff. What is this trailer? I just watched a bunch of nonsense on screen. Let's go on to the next movie. Here we have Almighty Thor from 2011. It says, when a demon god steals the hammer of, invinci of invincibility, Thor strikes a mighty blow to get it back. With director Christopher Ray as Christopher Douglas Olin Ray. I never got why IMB does this. Like the director as themselves, basically. I don't understand why they do that. All right, so obviously it's a ripoff of Thor, so we're gonna take a look and see just how much of a ripoff it really is. Yeah, typical CGI monster. Whoa! Thor has a machine gun? <laughs> Thor has a goddamn machine gun. What the fuck? I love how um Thor has a fucking mini SMG shooting at whoever he's shooting at. That's brilliant. All right, so the next movie we have is an Avengers ripoff. It's a film from Russia, and it's called Guardians. And it says, During a Cold War, an organization called Patriot created a superhero squad which includes members of multiple Soviet republics. For years, the heroes had to hide their identities, but in hard times, they must show themselves again. We're all the same. Okay, look, I'm, I'm just gonna stop it right there. Despite the fact on how much of a ripoff it is, clearly of the Avengers, um, there's like actuals, like, hear me out. There's some originality to be said about this trailer. I'm sure the special effects may not be $200 million quality, but goddamn, from Russia, it's pretty good. And I know this isn't a movie, but I just had to include the Japanese Spider-Man TV show just because Spider-Man has a giant mech zord in the show. That's so for the synopsis it says to fight against the evil Iron Cross army led by the Space Emperor Professor Monster, <laughs> a, a daredevil motorcyclist transforms into the famous Marvel superhero with a race car and giant click on synopsis giant transforming robot at his disposal. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Do you know Tanima no Kurayami ni? And of course, we have the Italian Spider-Man from 2007, and it says, When an otherworldly substance with an amazing cloning properties falls into the hands of an evil criminal mastermind, Captain Maximum, only the extreme powers of the Italian Spider-Man can save the world. That's where that GIF came from? I've always wondered what that GIF with the guy freaking out after he opens the door, I've always wondered where that came from. Now I know.
All right, so the next one we have is Daria Dill, which is actually a, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a cross between like Superman and Spider-Man, so properties in India clearly just didn't know that DC characters just don't mesh well together with Marvel characters, but give for the benefit of the doubt. I couldn't find a synopsis on IMDb, but um, I do know that uh, there's a trailer out there somewhere. It just requires a bit of time actually trying to... finding it, actually. I actually like the song. I'm not gonna lie. That's enough. The next movie we have is Three Giant Men from 1973, and the original title was Three Dev Adam, which I don't know what they were thinking with that title, but it says Instable is being terrorized by a crime wave and the police call in American superhero Captain America and Mexican wrestler Santo to help put a stop to it. What the fuck? Captain America teams up with a Mexican wrestler? What the fuck is going on? Oh, Spider-Man's a bad guy. Never seen that. Never seen that done before. They're not gonna show it. They're not gonna fucking show it. The hamster eat a dude's eyes. What I say? Uh, here comes Captain America. And it's your boy Santo. Yeah, okay. I, I think you guys get it. <laughs> it's clearly a ripoff. The next movie we have is Avengers Grimm from 2015. It says, When Rumpelstiltskin destroys the magic mirror and escapes to the modern world, the four princesses of Once Upon a Time, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, and Rapunzel are sucked. I don't see the rest of this synopsis. Are sucked through the portal, too. Well trained and endowed with magical powers, the four women must fight Rumpelstiltskin and his army of thralls before he enslaves everyone on Earth. Find him! Snow White and the Avengers. Alright, yeah, clearly it's a Avengers knockoff, but with a fairy tale people, I guess, you know, Snow White and all those all those dudes. But yeah, this act this actually has some production design to it. It's just like the the 2017 movie Guardians. Probably not gonna watch it, but um Alright, so the next movie we have is The Amazing Bulk from 2012. <laughs> Oh boy, this poster right there. I feel like I'm gonna get into something very bad in just a little bit. This is Han Henry Hank Howard works as a scientist in the military lab, trying to create a superhuman formula, but with little success. He is also in love with the daughter of his boss, a general. In and uh, let's watch the uh, sorry, watch read read the full summary. There you go. In an effort to earn his approval to marry his daughter, Henry tests the formula on himself, inadvertently transforming himself into a purple rage monster and leaving him at the mercy of those who wish to exploit his newfound power. These movies are giving me a headache, honestly. I, I, f I think I'm almost done. Okay, it's like some Neil Brain project. What the fuck? He will make the ultimate sacrifice and become something inhuman. What the hell is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? The dude has the same running animation. Oh my god. What 
What the fuck is this? What is this? Wow. I'm in total shock that this thing even exists. Just this naked purple monster running around. It has like the same running animation and everything. And sometimes it just switches from CGI to just some dude painted as purple. So the next movie we have is Captain Battle in the Legacy War. This is Sam Battle. <laughs> This is named Sam Battle, so imagine like Captain America's name being like Steve America. Sam Battle is injured during his tour of duty in the Gulf War. He loses an eye and is near death. His good friend Brandon Storm, who is a scientist, injects him with the secret serum that he... Let's take a look at the... I'm not gonna read all this. Okay, Neonauts, Nick Necromancer, Heinrich Heimler, Captain Battle. I'm gonna stop the Necromancer before she succeeds at her ultimate goal, raising the clone corpse of Adolf Hitler. So just like the first Captain America. They're just like shot in their backyard or some shit in the line of duty. <laughs> Whoa, okay. This is where I stop right there. Just because, like, this is YouTube and this is a family website. I don't want any hint of pornography showing up in my videos. And this looks like like a porn parody, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna straight away, so you guys know that it's clearly a ripoff, just because his name's Captain Battle and he's fighting Nazis. Okay, let's move on. Last movie, thank God, we have Thunderstorm, The Return of Thor, it says, A group of religious zealots known as the Death Risers have an evil plot to destroy the world by bringing to Earth the Norse god they worship, the goddess of the undead known as Hell. What the fuck is Thor and robots doing? Based on the Golden Age comic book series from Fox Comics. Thunderstorm. The return of Thor. Striking soon. Thank goodness we're done. I'm I'm honestly tired of these Marvel knockoffs that some of them kind of offended me. Like the amazing bulk. What the fuck was that? And the Italian Spider-Man. Alright, so those were all the mockbusters I could find when dealing with the Marvel properties. I'm sure there, there's some out there that I missed. And there just so happens to be any Marvel ripoff movies that I've missed, then please feel free to leave in the comments all those movies that I didn't mention in this video. And any of those souls who have witnessed these cinematic masterpieces, also leave in the comment section on what you thought of these movies. And I should be having my Captain Marvel review coming up this weekend, most likely a Saturday, because I'm not fortunate enough to be one of those people to see the movie early, so there's just gonna have to be some wait time for that but yeah this Saturday that's when my review for Captain Marvel is gonna be coming up on this channel so uh, that's, that's all I got for you guys see you guys next time I'm kind of depressed from all these movies so I'm gonna need a long ass nap <laughs>